My name's Nicholas Newmark, and I was charged with possession with intent to distribute, and I served a 60-month sentence for that. Um, but since I got out, I've been able to improve my life a thousand times. Um, I'm currently employed. I got a full-time job. I have an apartment. I have a nice car. Money in the bank. I see my kids. I talk to my children. Um, doing great on probation, no hiccups. Done all my classes, and I just recently obtained a CDL. I finished truck driving school. The biggest obstacle for me once I was released was believing in myself and having the type of support system that I needed to be successful in life. And how did you find out about the Goodwill Reentry and other community programs? Well, I ran across their flyer on a bulletin board at a halfway house that I was at. And ever since I signed up and attended the classes, had two amazing counselors in my life. Uh, it's only been great ever since then. I've, I've got the support that I need, um, job skills, everything. I think the most helpful aspect of the program was just the one-on-one the -on -one aspect with the people who genuinely care about you and who go above and beyond just to make sure that you're gonna be successful in life and they help you every step along the way. Well, I think the only thing that could make the program even better is to continue to employ and have good people here who love helping people. And hopefully we could get more funding for the program to have it continue to keep going. What would you say to employers who are skeptical of hiring someone with a criminal background? I would say to employers about that is uh, give them a chance. You might, be, you might be really surprised. They're the hardworking people and they need this opportunity to grow. What advice do you have for those uh, just being released from jail or prison? My advice to you guys and women are to believe in yourself. You can do this. It's gonna be hard at first. You're gonna come across roadblocks, challenges. Things are gonna come up. You're gonna be upset with your probation. You're gonna be upset with your living situation. But if you just hang in there and keep giving it your best, everything's going to be okay.